This is a little Vesta sewing machine. It was manufactured at some time in the 1920s or 30s. It's a very antiquated design for the time. It's a transverse shuttle machine, which means that the shuttle travels from side to side behind the needle. It's also a Saxonia type machine, which is the name given to this type that has a large balance wheel and it has a curve cut out of the base to give room for the balance wheel. It has a small porcelain handle which can be folded in when you put the cover on and to disengage the needle this pin here is pulled out so that it disengages from this cog here behind it. Now we'll wind a bobbin and it's a long bobbin, a small machine so it's slightly shorter than the single bobbin and it has a hole in the end. I'll show you how to thread the thread. Put it onto the spool on the right hand side through the little tension discs here at the top and then it goes down here through the lower arm of the bobbin winder and then through the upper arm. We'll put the thread through the little hole in the bobbin winder in the bobbin, sorry and then insert it into the bobbin winder and in the right hand side in the socket of the bobbin winder is a little pin and you need to get that little pin through the hole. Then insert this pin here on the left hand side. Make sure that we're well threaded. Tighten the thread and snip off this surplus end. Now we need to just push the bobbin winder forwards so that it en engages with the cogs on the balance wheel and it engages here. And we'll turn the handle and just as when we did the bobbins on the Singer sewing machine we have the arm here starting on the right hand side. We'll turn the handle and what I've forgotten to do is disengage the needle which we do with the pin here on the balance wheel. So we'll carry on winding. It's a bit noisy. And what we are aiming to do is carry on winding and end up with the arm on the right hand side. Now we're going to carry on winding without the camera running so that you can see what this machine does when the bobbin is full. Now we're going to carry on winding until the machine tells us that it's full. It's a bit noisy. There. Once it's full, it presses against this plate here, which automatically releases it and it disengages from the balance wheel. To release the bobbin from the bobbin winder, just press this plate down and pull this pin here, take out the bobbin, try not to drop it, the thread and here we have a well filled bobbin. To remove the shuttle from the machine slide this plate over 
Make sure that the wheel of the machine has put the shuttle in position over here, right over here on the left. And then pull this plate a little bit further and the spring will make the shuttle pop up and you can just take it out easily. Putting the bobbin into the shuttle is exactly the same as for a single long bobbin machine. The difference between this bobbin and the Singer shuttle is that because this is a transverse shuttle machine, one side of the shuttle is flat. But apart from that, the procedure is exactly the same. So put it in with the hole at the top, the hole of the bobbin at the top, slide it in, take the thread down the groove, down at the bottom, feed it back up through under the tension spring and it is threaded. Replacing the shuttle once we put the bobbin inside is exactly the same, only in reverse. Have the flat side facing towards the front, the pointed ends pointing towards the middle, slot it in, leave a bit of thread running free and close the slide plate almost completely. To thread the top thread, put the cotton onto the spool pin on the left and the first hook we go through is this one at the top of the face plate. Then we take it down here to the tension discs which on this machine are on the side on the face plate and take it down at the front here between the tension discs and pull it up the other side. Make sure that this hook here is at the top and then thread it through this hook from front to back. And now we only have one hook left which is down here just above the needle clamp and we take it through there. And now we're ready to thread the needle. And on this machine the needle is threaded from front to back. Now the needle is threaded, the thread has been fed between the two sides of the feet and held to the back. We'll turn the handle once to let the needle go down and we can pull up the bobbin thread. Here's the bobbin thread pulled up to the top. We can now shut the slide plate properly and the machine is ready to sew. This is a side view of the machine so you can see which way the thread travels. It may not show up very well because this slide, this plate here is so shiny it reflects but the thread goes from here, the top hook, down on this side of the tension discs, round, under, up to this hook and then straight down to the last hook just above the needle. This is an authentic 1920s pattern for a Red Riding Hood doll and because this machine looks so much like a toy, even though it isn't, the first thing I wanted to make on this machine was a toy. It so happens that this machine measures across the base 16 and a quarter inches. Little Red Riding Hood, when I made her, was 20 inches long. She is enormous compared to the machine. If I sit her next to the machine, she looks totally at home. joining us. I hope you look forward to our next video. Goodbye.